Hey guys, my name's Joe Walton, head brewer at Gizmo Brewers. Welcome to Beer Buzz. Ships. Uh, the middle one, this uh, Aztec Gold, is going to be one of our better series, which is one of our uh, higher ABV beers, higher end. Uh, and then we've got one of our one offs or prototypes, uh, which we call them, that are experimental beers. So this is our Beekeeper Honey Wheat. It's one of our year rounds. It's 5.5% ABV and 11 IBUs. Nice. 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 Awesome. Uh, this beer originally started as our summer seasonal, and it was so popular that. Um, we decided to take a chance last year and keep it on year round, and it's been phenomenal. Even in the winter, it's, it's almost keeping up with the stout. Um, pretty simple beer. It's pretty light. Um, it's got a. We add honey to ours though, versus a normal half bison, and uh, we add actual honey to the beer itself. But we also use honey malt, which is what gives it a lot of the flavor. So people find out we have honey in it, and they you know assume that's where the flavor comes from. Yeah. Most of that sugar is going to ferment out. Right. Uh, but the honey malt is where really that, that honey flavor pops. Mm -hmm. uh, we use a traditional half of ice and yeast in it, which means it's going to have kind of clove and banana notes. We mild, uh, ferment at a pretty mild temperature, so it's not too extreme on it. Half bison. Exactly. <laughs> is that um, German? Yes. It is. <laughs> It's cool to say. Can we go to a German bar? <laughs> I, I like the fact that they use the bottled on date. It pisses me off. It up. upsets me that we are using <laughs> enjoy by dates. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah, so yeah, this is it right here, right the here. first one. All right, let's, let's do this. Let's, hold on, let's smell it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ooh, yeah. Ooh, hold on now. Notes. Definitely banana. And a little bit of that sweetness yeah. from the honey. Yeah. Uh, let's, yeah, let's I smell, smell that. Banana, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is. Good. Good. That's good. And it's, it's sweet, but not too sweet. Mm -hmm. it's, it's balanced, and um, it's not. We don't carve ours quite as much as you would some half of bison, so it's not jumping out of the glass with carbonation profile. But um, with the the sweetness of the honey and the malt, um, it, it it balances and works well for us. Yeah, so. yeah, no, I like that. I like that it's, it tastes a little flatter than. I was going to say, half of bison. It's, yeah, it's, it's a little busy. It's, yeah, it's not, not as crazy. Knock yourself in the teeth yeah. of the, right. the ice. It's, it's smooth. This could be good year round, but I bet you this would be amazing in summer. Oh, okay. yeah. It's great on hot days. Um, <laughs> like I said, it, that's how it started, but um, it just sold so well that we decided to take a chance last year. And here we are. Thank God we did. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. That's great. So it, that's, it, that's really good. Tasty. Is it nutmeg in there? No, well, clove is going to be clove. 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 what you're getting. Yeah. That's, that's yeast driven yeah. the entire time. That's really good. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a. That. that <laughs> I'm trying to describe the taste. It's because I'm not used to having bison's and all this stuff. It's yeah. a uh, low key 
Low key, you never like. I like the bitterness. I like the honey. bitterness trail. I can definitely taste the honey. But yeah, I can too. On the back of my tongue. Yeah. After you, I after you down it, you can taste that honey big time. Yeah, I think I, I mean, the honey kind of takes away from the the traditional again yeast driven flavors of the hefeweizen yeast. So it, it's and we we ferment right there in the middle. So. If we ferment at a higher temperature or a lower temperature and got more clove or more banana, it may overpower the honey. But by going in the middle, you still kind of get each side just not to where it's very distinct. Uh, yeah. And then that honey back end that you mentioned. Yeah, that's uh, Apparently, I don't know the difference between clove and nutmeg, but it, you're right, it is clove um, and wildflower honey. Yeah, it's dead on. Yeah. And you can taste every bit of it. Mm -hmm. We also really just good. started last year using North Carolina honey in that beer. We, we tried to to begin with, oh, but cool. it was hard to find. Uh, in a rapery in the area, a beekeeper facility that had enough for us to purchase consistently. Right. Um, and we finally found a place right outside of Winston Salem, and we've been very happy with it. Um, it has a, you know, just run the risk of different honey. You could, you could also the flavor slightly, the color slightly, but it's, it's blended perfectly. I'm gonna drink it every day because I heard that honey is good for your allergies. That, that'd, that'd be perfect. <laughs> Take a shot of this in the morning. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's that'd good. Be a good call. All right. So what's next? Yeah. Cool. Next up, <laughs> this is our Palisade Wasp IPA, which is our year-round IPA. It's 6.8% uh, and about 72 IBUs. Uh, it comes from two places. One is uh, the Suffolk Stephen song, uh, the Palisade Wasp. The other is the fact that we use the Palisade hop in this beer. Um, not exclusively, but it's the majority of the hops for the beer itself. Palisade hops are kind of in the, the middle of your alpha acid range. So whereas your bittering hops are typically on the high end, 12 to 15%, and your aroma hops are typically in the two to 3% range, Palisade falls right in the middle of eight. So it's, you can use it for both, but rarely is it used. We have to use a lot more Palisade in the, the beginning of the boil to give it that bitterness as we would say a Chinook or a Columbus that has those higher alpha acids and more hops equals more money. Uh, but at the same time, it's, it's been great for us. It gives it, because it's in the middle, um, rather than being super citrusy or super earthy, it's kind of, it, it's got the best of both worlds. It's got floral notes and also notes of like tangerine, so a lighter citrus. Yeah, let's try this one out. Absolutely. I think one of my beard here is coming. Whoa. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Whoa! That's how, you, that's how you do it in Germany. You're supposed to splash the beers together. You're not poisoning each other. So you get some citrus, but also some floral notes in the nose. Yeah. Um, like I said, wow. we use uh, Columbus in this as well, which is kind of a, it's, wow. it's a hop that's described as dank, yeah. very resinous. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you get some of that, but you also get the, the light floral and light um, light citrus notes that are busy. Yeah, I like it. it. I like it. It, it, it tastes a lot more uh, bitter than the uh, than eighty two. It's I, I think it, I love bitter beer. Yeah, I'm a big fan too. Yeah. It, it is very bitter. Uh, well, not very bitter, but it's, it's, it, well, it tastes like a like piney, bitter taste like a piney type of hop. <laughs> that's um, just yeah. it too, and that's where yeah. it's coming from. I mean, yeah. uh, part of the reason it's it's more bitter uh, appearing appearing is or tasting is. It's 6.8% and 82 yeah. IBUs. So if it was 8% and 82 IBUs, it would be pretty much perfectly balanced. But right. by dropping that ABV, and also we ferment this very, uh, uh, we mash in, I'm sorry, at a very low temperature, so it's a very dry beer. Yeah. Um, and there's not a lot of body to stand up against the bitterness. Whereas uh, Aztec, which we'll get to, is almost the same IBUs, but there's so much residual sugar in that beer uh -huh. that you don't pick up on the hops as much as you do this. I mean, I feel like it's got a little bit of body to it. It's not a real thin IPA. No, it's got a kick. It's got a kick. I like it. Yeah, there's still sugar in it. And this is also one of our only beers that we filter too, which is why it's crystal clear. Yeah, but it's hazy, but it's it's very good. It would be even more bitter if it didn't filter because that yeah. takes, it strips out some of the hop flavor. Yeah, no, I love so. that. I mean, I want to taste you, you can definitely, the, the bitterness lingers. I mean, it's yeah, it's really good. You want to taste it in an IPA. Well, that's what I, yeah, I exactly. people don't like it, but I, I want to, five minutes later, I still got that bitterness on my yeah, palate. Yeah, I want to, I want to have friends my palate after yeah, I drink exactly. an IPA. I mean, you want to yeah. know that you're drinking one. <clears throat> but that's that's really good. I mean, it's, it's, it's got a nice to me, it's got a lot of piney hops. This is good. It's very, Tom, what do you think? I love this. You like it? Yeah, I really do. I would drink this all day. 
would have a lot of regrets. <laughs> <laughs> I would have a lot of, enough that, yeah, yeah. yeah, I would regret, regret it afterwards. But yeah, I would <laughs> that, that's the thing, that. being, being filtered, it feels light enough that you can drink a lot of them, but you still got, you know, almost Oh, dude, yeah. You can take a growler over your half through it. You know, yeah, you're, 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 yeah, you're going to yeah. be catching it. Yeah, you, you'd look at it and say, man, I could drink these all day long. It's a session beer, but it's not. No, 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 session no, beer. It's got a lot of flavor. Yeah, it'll catch up to you. It's very good. session beer. Very nice. Very nice. I like the name of it. It's cool. Yeah. I do too. Gives you a little sting. I do too. A little sting on the tongue. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I like the hardness. It's, it's yeah. different. Everybody's, everybody's <laughs> doing these, you know, West Coast uh, citrusy hop beers, which which are good. I mean, don't get me wrong, but oh, this is different. I mean, it's, it's not. <laughs> it's it's not a really piney IPA. You can taste the pine, uh, but you do get the the floral uh, flavors and, the, and a little bit of citrus too. So I like it. That's really good. Yeah, I was really wanting to try this one. So this is our Aztec Gold Imperial Chocolate Stout. Um, and yeah. this is 9.2%. Uh, wow. wow. Um, IBUs, we don't even put on these. I'm guessing, I think it's about 82. So again, just slightly under that uh, 1% or 1, 1 to 1 IBU to G ratio. Um, this was our first Inventor Series, which we did. It's been about a year and two or three months ago now. Um, this beer was hell to brew at the time because it was one of our, our first high EV beer on our new system. We we're still dialing that in. We didn't know what our efficiency quite was. And um, our President Brian and I had a fun brew day, the first one and another one the next day with it. Um, and then I also uh, didn't think about cutting vanilla beans down into smaller sizes. So I kind of pulled the uh, <coughs> vanilla beans and cocoa nibs out of the tank along with the yeast before I transferred over. And the vanilla beans caused a net or web that blocked all the cocoa nibs in the tank. Oh, yeah, oh, no. So uh, covered in that from head to toe by the end of it, we finally got the last bean out. Uh, yeah. And uh, the result was great. We brought it back this year and um, we're very happy with it. Nice. We used chocolate from Vidari downtown. Um, I think there's 40 or 45 pounds of cocoa nibs in this batch that we let it sit on. Wow. Uh, and then we used Madagascar vanilla beans. In Madagascar? How much how much do you do a year of this? How much have you done? We did a seven the first year. We did a fifteen uh, this year, wow. and um, I don't know what size fermenters we'll have next, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. That's awesome. Very nice. All right, let's, let's try this thing. All right. I'm gonna like this. All right. You know, as it warms up, it definitely comes out more. Mm. The first sip, I noticed right? that about stouts. The more it warms, the more you get the more depth out of the stout. Absolutely. Because so you get that initial burst of chocolate, yeah. and yeah. then it, it mellows out into that vanilla, and it's you, you can tell that it's a high BB beer, the body's there, but it's not hot in yeah. any way. It's yeah. not salty. No, you don't taste it. There's no booziness at all. I might be so. taking that bottle home with me. <laughs> yeah, that's a, a smooth. I like it. Yeah, it's, it's hard so to good. tell in a flight glass, but uh, <clears throat> if you pour this into a pint, the head on it is it's this brown golden color. It's almost yeah. the color of the, the side there, which is it's fantastic. Yeah, I'll be trying that out later. But anyway, I really like this. <laughs> this is great. It's got body to it, but it's not it's not too heavy for an yeah. imperial stout. Yeah, no, it's yeah, not, yeah, not at all. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it falls off nice. It's now, did you, did you did you age this thing? Like, yeah. What what do you think aging would do to this? Oh, it only gets, it, I don't want to say better, but it gets, it's different. And we actually have a keg from last year. We've got a keg saved from this year. And as soon as we're done with expanding our taps, well, it's one of our places to have a vertical tasting. And we have bottles stashed as well, so we can nice. see how they age. But uh, it mellows out. Last year, as we tried a bottle maybe a month ago when we first brought this one out, and, um, the chocolate mellows a little bit. The vanilla comes out a little more. It gets a little creamier. It's almost, so you can take a little bit of the bitterness out of it. Correct. Yeah, and the astringency. It's, it's almost like uh, if you took a cup of coffee and added some cream to it. it yeah. It's, it's still nice. coffee, but it, it gives it that that different body. Yeah. Um, and hopefully, I, I would really like to barrel age something. Thank you. Small. I was about to yeah. ask. <laughs> for us in here, it's, it's space. It's it's having room for barrels. Yeah. 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 As they come open, and oh, that would be, that would be I've got to taste the beer. I'd love to taste that. That'd be cool. Yeah, this is listen to Maker's Barrels. <laughs> oh, my you goodness. You can imagine. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's God, what I, You know what would be really cool? What? When you get up Monday morning to go to work, <laughs> and you get your Prius, <laughs> and then you have a cup of coffee, 
and you take one of these and drop it in your coffee. No way. See, that is a literal car bomb. Yeah. <laughs> you are right about that. That is a that Prius is bomb. <laughs> that you could definitely do that in your be happy at work. <laughs> Why don't everybody do that? <laughs> I hope you do. And God, film. this would be great with coffee. Though. Oh yeah. I mean, chocolate and vanilla. I mean, it's. I love the flavors. I mean, that, yeah. that's what it is. You taste the chocolate, and then right after that, the vanilla. And I, I think it's so really, yeah. really cool about it's, it. It's really smooth. Good. Uh, I, I bet well, you this, and after you uh, right. set it up for for a year, was. But I mean, 9.2%, you don't taste any booze. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. no, it's not hot. Yeah. that's what's so crazy There's about it. That I would have yeah. never thought it would have been that yeah. crazy uh, up, up there with 9.2. And that's what the chocolate vanilla helped. It just, it mellowed, especially the vanilla, that creaminess of it. And it yeah. it yeah. mellows out that, that heat on the back end. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what was the stuff that we had when we were setting up? It was what, the stiletto? Uh, I think you tried the coffee version. The black stiletto is our flagship stout, and we do a lot of variants of that. Uh, so the coffee stout is one of the ones that you tried, which that is where was, we use the beans from Metal That was really good. And then we have the peppermint coming up next. And yeah, it's the same base beer, it's just yeah, with different things added after yeah. the fact. And so. I had the black IPA, the black top down, and that was. That was really, that's one of my that favorites. Really that's and that's more West Coast. Coast. That's that super was, citrusy. Yeah. It's also a little more chewy. So yeah, that was that was really. I mean, good. to me, that's the best of both worlds. It's like taking this stout and mixing yeah. with yeah, the, yeah, yeah throwing it in there. Yes. Yeah. Oh, see, yeah. see yeah. you you have so many really good beers. I'd like to have my flight to be back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your flight needs to be a little. Tom, <laughs> Tom's not going out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need to get a. We need to get a uh, is there a cock? I, should, I really yeah. should have a bag. I don't know why I go home at night. We need to get some video of that wall over there. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. What's there. with the metals? Uh, so what metals have you, I, I see you was quite a bit. All right. Let me. That's a two prong question. The wall is. Those are all of our one-offs and prototypes. So I, right. I mentioned peppermint stout, for instance. Yeah. We brew a lot of different beers every year. We're on track to brew. 42 different styles this year. Now some of those are variants. It's it's simply adding right. something else or something. Yeah. But a lot right. of it's the start of that wall on the top left is May 2014. This, this is our crazy. This is peppermint stiletto stout. This is a variant right. of our uh, black stiletto stout, which is one of our year rounds. This one is one of our prototypes or one offs. Um, this one started as a cask, just is that like your Christmas beer. Yeah, yeah. There you go. We did that in the holiday spice tale, and I, we should have done two of these. It's so good, right. but. Um, yeah, it, it's been described on Untapped most frequently as uh, Christmas in a beer. Exactly. Yeah, that. right. Well, so this one now you can get here at the brewery only. It, the well, I've out. got like three flights left of this. And wow! Sold out, wow. That that sold out in a week. So you better hurry up. You better hurry up and get another. here. Yeah. Uh, hurry up and get here. We get another round. You're done. Oh god! Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Christmas. So, you have to wait till next year. Off the top. Christmas smells good, guys. Smells Dude. like a candy cane. Yes, it does. I cannot wait. Yes, this is great. This smells great. God, that's God. I, love I don't even want to drink it. I just want to smell it. Dude. What? Oh really? my God. That's that good. That's yeah. awesome. Thanks. So check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.